ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم اما بعد from some of the benefits from some of our ulama like sheikh abdul razak al badr hafizallah ta'ala the sheikh was discussing this very important act of worship and as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it's one of the greatest deeds you can do and that is being obedient to one's parents and on the opposite or opposite to that or in opposition to that is what the sheikh was discussing which is aququ walidain which is disobedience to one's parents being one of the major sins so when we look at those two aspects or those two opposing points we see obedience to one's parents is one of the greatest acts you can do in Islam after tawhid and disobedience to one's parents which is the opposite is one of the greatest sins you can do after shirk meaning tawhid is the greatest act of worship is the greatest thing that a person can believe in and can implement in their lives by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and shirk is the worst sin that you can do as we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa li'abudun i've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me letting us know that our purpose is to worship Allah and that's the greatest deed that we could do and there's so many ayats in the Quran and this is not the place nor the time to mention them and on the opposite end of the scale of course is shirk and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al karim in the law la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha verily Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with him but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases and from you know whatever sins that you do letting us know that if a person dies upon shirk on directing worship to other than Allah or with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they'll be in the hellfire forever wa iyadan billah min dhalika because they died on the major this is if they die upon especially the major shirk and as we mention first and foremost is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa qada rabbuka la ta'budu illa iyahu bil walidayn ihsana your lord has ordered that you worship him and him alone and that you don't associate any partners with him in worship and to your parents be obedient you know or be righteous and and serving of your parents so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has coupled along with his right which is to be worshiped alone and the worship and and the right of the slave and the greatest of those being the 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 rights of your parents that your parents have honor and they're deserving of your respect and in fact your humility before them and being patient with them and obedient to them and striving to please them that's one of the greatest deeds you can do in Islam and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it alongside of tawhid mentioning tawhid tawhid first worshiping him and him alone and then along with that he mentioned being uh, subservient to one's parents or obedient to one's parents subhanallah showing us it's one of the greatest things that we can do and this is why the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam when he was asked about what are the best deeds uh, that are that are most beloved to allah He said sallallahu alaihi wasallam Salat ala waqtiha qultu thumma ay qala bil walidain so the the first thing that he mentioned was praying the prayer in its time 
then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said being obedient to one's parents again affirming for us that obedience to one's parents is one of the greatest deeds that you can do it's one of the greatest acts of worship it's an act of worship because you're worshiping Allah by being obedient to your parents so through your parents through kindness gentleness patience with your parents even taking the punch from your parents so to speak with patience without raising your voice with trying to control your anger and listening to them that this is one of the greatest acts of worship it's because they were patient with you and raising you Ayyul Habba the main point I wanted to establish which is now we've reached that point is that one of the greatest sins that you can do after shirk as a Prophet Sallallahu said in an authentic hadith is being obedient to one's parents and the Shaykh brought about a lot of those fawaid, those benefits and we just tried our best to articulate them to you and synthesize them for you and we asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his divine names and attributes to grant us forgiveness grant us goodness in this life as well as the hereafter and bless us with and protect us and our parents from any and all evil and may Allah bless us all to be better with our parents and preserve our parents and if our parents are not Muslim may Allah guide them to Islam وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم